Hello everyone and welcome back to my nook. Today I've got something in the mail. Oh my god and I am so excited because I have ordered a journal and I'm planning to start a book journal. Oh my god, I've also ordered plenty of other stuff. Okay, not plenty of other stuff actually. I've only ordered stickers and I've ordered a used book that I want to use to craft pages and design them and I have ordered annotating tabs for my books because I want to start with that as well but I honestly I just got the journal in the mail and I cannot wait to unpack this. I know that the stickers will come in the mail in the next few days, but I just can't wait. I need to unpack this now. And I thought, why not take you along on the journey already? And oh my God, it looks so good. And it's heavy, dang. Okay. With a vegan degradable faux leather cover. Okay, now I can actually sh Ooh, oh my god, this feels so good. <gasps> oh, it smells like a new book, honestly, kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna show you. I mean, the description said it's cream, but it's a little more yellowy uh, with a wolf like imprinted on it, and it's from. Ding butts, ding bats. I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, but I'll link them below perhaps if anyone is interested. They have actually pretty, pretty <laughs> notebooks and journals, and they have a lot of like options. I chose one from the Wildlife Collection, and obviously, I had to take the wolf. But I was specifically looking for a notebook with dot grid and it was a little hard to find one with dot grid pages, like dotted pages. That's also at least a little pretty. <laughs> at first I thought mm, maybe I'm just going to try this whole book journal journaling thing on a cheap journal first. But most of the cheap journals are blank pages and most of them are <laughs> kind of ugly. <laughs> so I just thought, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna invest the money and I'm gonna have my fun. Oh my god, I actually love this so much. Jesus Christ, okay. I've already been babbling <laughs> just about this notebook for like 10 minutes, so... I better get to it now because I have plans for this thing. I've taken some inspiration from a few booktubers. Two, to be precise. No, three, I think. One was Hayley Pham and the other was Katie is reading and the other was... I do not remember her name because it was just a video that YouTube suggested to me. I have plans for these pages now, which I'm going to start on now. I've already gathered a few crafting materials. I've gathered all the like fine liners. I have all my colors and I've gathered these wax pens. <laughs> that I still had at my parents house where I currently am. I also found these old-ish papers that I can maybe rip or something if I need anything like that because I have learned from Katie is reading that book journaling is a lot about layering. That's also why I have this photo mounting board stuff in colors that's not what i would have called it but that's what it says okay i've also gotten this huge pack of just colored paper in all kinds of colors and a lot of it this thing 
has been existing in my parents house since i don't know since i can remember and it just does not get empty so i'm gonna try to do that now no just kidding <laughs> But those are my supplies for now. I really hope the stickers will arrive in the next few days. So... Let's go! I'm so excited. Hi, it's a while later. I have eaten lunch and I've done some other stuff and just journaled in between a bit and I have now made a sort of start page for the book journal 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 <laughs> after that I did like a reading goal book tracker thingy where I just colored in all the squares of how many books I've already read this year which is 28 <laughs> much more than my initial goal so far I've only put 36 of these squares there is space for 48 squares on the page but in order to read 48 books this year I would have to read five books per month for the rest of the year and I'm not sure if I can do that so I basically set myself the goal of reading at least two books per month for the rest of the year which would then add up to 36 books at the end of the year and on the other page I did like a monthly tracker thingy where I just tracked how many books I read per month and I did some cute flowers on the bottom <laughs> on the next spread I did like a releases spread where I just wrote down per month which books were newly released in that month or which books are being newly released in the month the first four months of this year are very empty January, February, March and April just because I wasn't that deeply in the reading community yet meaning that I just didn't really know about any new releases up until that point and I was just reading a book here and there and if books released in those first four months of the year i probably didn't even know that they just got released <laughs> but basically starting in like may or june i think i was actually getting to the point where i was hearing about new releases and putting them on a list and pre-ordering some of them and just looking forward to them, you know. So I thought I would make a spread like this too. Next up, uh, this page is still empty. Let's see how quickly I can get to present day, basically. <laughs> I just wanted to do this whole book kind of retroactive because I didn't want to start just in September, you know, that's kind of... Ugh, that would make me kind of icky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna work my way through to September and October, but I'm gonna stop for today because I'm getting tired and I have a few other things to do, so... We will see each other again tomorrow.
hi it's another day i've already been working on my book journal for like three hours it's noon already <laughs> oopsie but it's really been fun so far i have added a few little like stars to my 2022 release page and i've done a winter themed page that i'm pretty proud of actually you probably can't see it on the camera but like in the sky there's stars that say the word winter <laughs> and after that i did a small start page for january with like these are supposed to be like snowflakes but i kind of totally <laughs> mess them up <laughs> this one honestly looks like a spider web but oh well i really like the part where i ripped this colored paper out though and put it on i think i'm gonna definitely continue that for the next months and now i did like a monthly spread with which books i read in january and like a little plant and then which on which days i read in the month i did a pretty good what am i saying i did a perfect job in january i read every single day of january that's a plus honestly I still have to kind of figure out how to do the second page of January because I'm not sure yet if I want to actually like put my thoughts and feelings just plain on the page so everyone would be able to see them when I flip through the book or if I maybe want to do something else. I already have a little idea but I'm not sure yet what exactly I want to do. Also I'm a little sad that my colored pens are kind of smudging a little even when I think they're dry. But oh well. I'm probably gonna eat lunch soon and I gotta study a bit and then I'll continue my book journal. Oh and maybe the stickers I ordered will come in the mail today. That would be really cool. If not today they'll probably come tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh guys, right after lunch I went to check the mailbox and guess what? The first package that I ordered arrived. Actually I totally forgot that I bought more than just stickers but I bought three different things from a shop on eBay. They actually had so many more gorgeous things but I tried to limit myself so my wallet wouldn't weep. I bought these stickers they're like just floral stickers and i've got two sheets of those and then i bought green leaves also two sheets of those and some like some black and gold kind of the description called it retro looking washi tape and I just think it's so pretty and I cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited. It's the next day. Basically the only thing I've done so far today is book journaling and drawing and crafting and I've done a little bit of book shopping. Not really book shopping, I bought one single book online and i've looked up three more books i just wanted to check which places they're available at and which place has the cheapest price 
but I'm not gonna buy them yet. So that's what I did. I'm actually in the middle of drawing something right now. It's amazing, you can't see anything. <laughs> but you know what the mail did? They delivered another one of my sticker orders. I think I mentioned that I also ordered something from an Etsy shop. It's called Möhrenkunst. I might spell that one out on the screen. Or maybe I'll put a link to it in the description box as well. Honestly, the entire shop was so cute. I could have bought like 10 more of their sticker sheets and I probably will buy more of their sticker sheets in the future, but I wanted to limit myself, so I only bought two for now. I bought this little space sticker sheet, which is just so cute. The little stars and moons all have little faces. Oh my god, it is adorable. And then I bought, they had a huge amount of sticker sheets with like a book theme and it was so hard to choose one. <laughs> I chose the bookworm sticker sheet. Look at this. How cute are these? I cannot wait to use these. Also, the seller put this little thank you thingy into the mail as well and the bees are stickers too i have bee stickers as well now oh my god also hang on back when i had ordered my bookmark also from an etsy shop not this one but another one the seller actually put one of their stickers in the mail as well and it's like these little cats on the books so yeah, I have this sticker too and I remember that, which is cool. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Also, oh my god, a little update. I think the last time we spoke, I had just finished the January page, right? Yeah, I decided to write down just on the page. Then last night I did a few more pages. So I'm gonna just show you those actually. So I did a spread for February, which I'm honestly so in love with. And then I've obviously got the day's red page and the, wolf, the blank one for thoughts and stuff. I switched these up on January. The day's red page is on this side and the thoughts page is on this side. But I thought I'd switch it up. Like I put the books up there. And then the day's red. I did pretty good in February too. And yeah, just my thoughts that are not here yet. And I already used one of my stickers down there. Very content with this page as well. Next up, I left some space because in February I read the book A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I loved that book so 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 much so I think it deserves a spread and I'm planning on doing one I hope I actually manage that but I'm just gonna leave pages free for that it's also way past 2 p.m. already and I haven't eaten lunch yet so I should Probably do that. <laughs> Hey, it's been quite a few days since you have last seen anything from me. I have been journaling throughout the last few days. 
I haven't had as much time as during the days where I actually filmed it but I've also edited most of my footage already so I know that this video is already way too long <laughs> so I decided to just wrap it up here at this point because otherwise it would probably just get a little repetitive with time but before we do that I'm going to give you a little sort of update <laughs> I've bought a few new things and a few things have come in the mail which I'm very excited about so I just wanted to show you all of that and the last bit of progress I made with my book journal during the last few days before this video actually ends. So first of all I have gotten the tabs in the mail that I spoke about at the beginning of the video. They're these sort of pastel-ish tabs and they're basically transparent when they're on the page. These are basically all the same color but in like different versions. And then there's these that are more autumn wintery colored. Also have these in three different versions. I'm sure you guys have seen these around somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. Also have been using some of them already, which is pretty cool. Actually today, finally, the strawberry stickers came in the mail and they are so cute they're not actually on a sheet or anything they're just these different kinds of strawberry stickers and i honestly love them i also bought them from a shop on ebay which i can link down below as well just like all the others and they also had plenty of other stickers and sticker sheets and they even put a little extra sheet in the mail with like apples <laughs> with a face on them <laughs> they're so funny that came in the mail and also today the used book came in the mail that i ordered to perhaps use for like crafting pages next up i have bought pens i went to a store that i have been to plenty of other times and it's like a store where you can just get anything like you need a candle they have it you need an umbrella they have it you need batteries they have it cooking utensils birthday cards anything <laughs> But I never went into that shop with the thought in my head of buying arts and craft supplies. And let me tell you, that was dangerous. I bought first a... It's literally just a black gel pen. Nothing really special. But then I also bought these fine liners and these pastel-ish colors which I thought were really pretty and oh god I bought so much washi tape <laughs> let me just show it to you really quickly And last but not least, that is all the stuff I have bought. But then I've also been to my apartment for different reasons. But I've also used my chance to pick up some art and craft supplies that I already have at my apartment. Which is more washi tape. There's these little rubber bands on them because otherwise they'll just fall apart. 
and then I've got these glittery washi tapes in different colors. I've also brought plenty of my pens. I've got a white pen in here, I've got highlighters in here, I've got some silver, some gold. <laughs> You know, just random stuff that I picked up and thought I could use here while I'm still at my parents' place. And now let's get into all the pages that you guys haven't seen yet, right? I did a nice little April thread with a frogo, a cute one, and flowers. I actually really like this one, really content with it. I also tried something new with these kind of dot patterns here and then there's obviously this spread. also used a sticker for that and got a little bit creative with how I put the books at the top. <laughs> Not on a shelf this time. <laughs> then we've got May and afterwards the May spread. I already used one of the stickers that got sent to me for this one. I told you that I wanted to do like seasonal spreads for winter, spring, summer, autumn. And this is my summer one. I think it could have been better but I like it nonetheless. And next up I did June with an ice cream theme. Really like this one too. And then the June spread. Also got a little more creative with how I put the books here. I put them in like ice cream cones. <laughs> And the pages after that are still pretty much empty. I know what to put here. I even wrote it down with pencil, but I haven't really gotten to it yet. That is the update on how far my book journal has come along so far. I really hope you guys enjoyed this sort of vlog where I took you along with me on the journey of starting a book journal it's been incredibly fun for myself so far, so I really hope you guys had fun as well. If you did, maybe give this video a thumbs up and perhaps let me know in the comments if you guys have a book journal, if you ever did a book journal, if you are currently doing a book journal, or if you ever want to do a book journal. And if none of those things apply to you, just let me know how you're doing right now or what book you're currently reading. I'm all ears. Perhaps follow me on Instagram. So I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye!